Hello. Um, look, I'm sorry everybody I'm not able to be with tonight, but I hope all is well with all of you. And I think the past four years have flown by. The Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, it's a brilliant name in itself, it resonates around the world, continues to do so, and the support for its aims just keeps on growing. And I was proud to attend the UN headquarters in New York and have personally presented the head of the conference ambassador Elaine White Gomez of Costa Rica with a letter of support for the aims of the treaty from Scotland's First Minister, which included the Walter Scott quote asking that should all have the will to do and the soul to dare. This was a major United Nations event and was packed with both international diplomats and a fantastic number of delegates from civic society. Indeed, it was hard to find standing room around the fringes of the hall. So as I saw that the UK delegation hadn't deigned to attend, I decided as an act of non-violent civil disobedience to occupy the UK ambassador's chair. The next section along from there uh, is the delegation from Uganda. And I saw that the Ugandan ambassador uh, was pointing at me and asking one of his team what was going on here. Um, because as far as he was concerned, of course, the UK uh, didn't have a delegation in attendance. His attaché told him that I was from Scotland and was supporting the treaty. The ambassador smiled and nodded to me and gave me a thumbs up, which was very pleasant. And as we all know, the vote on that day was 122 nations in favour, with one against and one abstention. But Scotland had made its position clear and we'll all continue to do so. We're going forwards towards a nuclear weapons free world which the TPNW is a major step in. So I thought it was a fantastic achievement. I congratulate everybody that was involved and I congratulate all of you tonight for gathering together to commemorate this important anniversary. So all the very best and I'll catch you all soon. Thank you.